Let's just have a little look over the code we've uh, done so far. We've put in the Python 3 notice, imported the modules we're going to use later, made an inventory item list, made a helper print function, which I'll now hide. And I'm going to leave it on a very short time period for testing purposes so I don't get frustrated by waiting. And I made a, an intro, which just printed some things that I didn't want repeated every time we came back to the beach and then called the beach function, which is going to send us to here, which is where we're working or we, we what we just made. And finally, nothing at that point has actually happened. So calling the intro starts the dominoes off. I'm going to make a second location, which is going to be set up in uh, a rather similar way to this. But before we do that, I just thought I would add one thing. Here, we're going to have all sorts of problems if someone puts capital letters in um, our in the input, because this says forest, for example. So if they put forest with a capital letter, it won't work. So I'm just going to change answer here to if I type in str.lower and then put answer in here, that'll give me a copy of it, but lowercase. And I will just test that. So go to forest. That works. Okay, so we know that the beach is working. Let's... Now, I know I said don't copy and paste code. This is one exception here. I think it's just going to be set up so similarly for the next one. So I'm actually going to copy and paste this and go through quickly and change it to my second location, which is forest. So instead of this, uh, I will type some forest text but I won't uh, bore you with that. I'll do it quickly now. Okay, so I have uh, gone ahead and, and changed this um, to make a forest uh, area, a forest function. And um, first of all, uh, I've written down where it says start the game. Again, I haven't run through the intro or anything like that. I've just gone straight to forest. We can work on one unit at a time and test it, which is really, really good. So I've written tall trunks rise up all around you. A pile of rocks blocks the way further inland. Sticks lie strewn across the forest floor along with a scattering of flowers. Now this bit is really important. You can vaguely make out the shape of the house on the hill through the branches and a rugged path leads down the slope to the beach. So I want to explain really clearly to the, or give a hint quite clearly to the user um, that these are some places you might want to try and go. And in the in this uh, case of the rocks, the sticks, and the flowers, give an idea for something that you might try and pick up or take or look at or something like that or interact with in some way. Remember, we have no visuals, so it's it's important to to give hints like this and be very descriptive with what you're writing. Okay, so then um, again, I've changed this. Uh, if beach is in the answer or ocean is in the answer. You make your way back down the twisted path to the beach. Once again, the hot sun envelops you as the trees thin. So I've made some text going back to the beach. Um, Elif, Elsif, house or hill in answer. I don't want you to be able to go there. So I've said, you can just make out the house, but thick branches prevent you from moving in that direction any further. There must be another way, well, which we know is back to the beach and then up the hill. And then I've got my command not understood there again, as usual. I've just put a little comment in here just to make it easier. that This is the choice loop that will go around forever until, until what? We have to link up our forest and our beach in some way. So if beach is in the answer, I don't just want to talk about going to the beach. I actually want to go to the beach after talking about going to the beach. How do I do that? Well, beach is a function. I can just call that function and that should work. So let's test that out. So tall trunks rise up all around you, blah, blah, blah. 
if I say go to beach, um, if you hear random weird screams, it's just the possum in the roof, so please ignore that. Um, go to beach. You make your way down the twisted path to the beach. Once again, the hot sun envelops you as the trees thin. Ah, and now this is actually the um, this is actually the beach function running now. The ocean sparkles beneath the deep blue sky. That's not in this one. That's in the beach function. So that worked. Fantastic. What about if I close this up and I go to uh, the beach and we'll do the other way. So it says if forest is in the answer, then we're going to call the forest function. That should work as well. Now we don't, I'm not going to add this for the house one because we don't actually currently have a house function. Um, I could make one. Def house. Uh, and then if I don't have anything to put in there, I can just put the word paths. If I don't put paths in there or something in there, um, it will uh, throw an error. So paths is a sort of a keyword you can use if you don't want to put anything in a, in a function yet. Um, so we've now got the intro, which is linked here to the beach by calling the beach function. We have the beach, which is linked to the forest by causing, uh, calling the forest function. And we have in the forest, we can call the beach function. And if you think about it, calling these functions are really the only way that we're going to escape from these eternal, never-ending uh, while loops. Uh, so... Uh, there's got to be some way out, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be wouldn't be a very good game.